want to have some fun before the race, you can always go to the grill and do some cooking out. Our racing chef, Nikki Morris, shows us just exactly how to get things cooking around the racetrack. I'm Nikki Morris, and they call me the racing chef. Hey, guys, I thought you were coming down the hill. I'm at Seneca Lake. We were going to be on the boat. I know you're at the desk. It's OK. I'm just making a nice little snack. Look, we got some smoked salmon, and I'm going to brush it with just a little bit of stone ground mustard. Oh, wonderful flavor. Got some arugula here. You squeeze just a little bit of lime juice on it, a little bit of salt and pepper in the breeze. Mix that up. We're going to put it right in here. We're going to put a little bit of blanched white asparagus. We're going to put some blanched green asparagus. A little bit of red pepper and onion. We're going to roll these up. This is a great low calorie and low carbohydrate snack for me, because you didn't come. <laughs> hey, how about John Roberts' segment yesterday on, on the show, that French toast cake? Wasn't that wonderful? Well, next Saturday at 7 AM, I'm in Max Pappas's house. He, he and his wife invited me in for an Italian feast that was unbelievable. And Jeff Burton's son, Harrison, nine years old. I show him how to make homemade caramel corn. So Kyle, I thought you were coming to cook with me. Listen, don't worry about it. You know, I know Kenny said you have to wear your hair net, but I won't make you wear it. Come on. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I would wear a hairnet because I couldn't look any more stupid in a hairnet than he looks in that hat. Okay? <laughs> that, that's me. Let's be honest. Blanche Thurston Asparagus. Hat. Blanche Asparagus. I used to know a lady named Blanche. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what he just made or what he's talking about, but I'm not going cooking with him. It looked good. In